Hi, and welcome to the Walking with Dead People webcast. I'm Mary Beth Brophy, and this webisode is the first in a series about history along the New Jersey Shore. I can't think of any better place to begin than buried treasure, so let's start with the story of the town of Holgate's pirate horde. If you want to visit the very southern tip of New Jersey's Long Beach Island, you need to be a migrating bird. The sandbar that stretches south of the town of Holgate's beaches forms part of the Edwin B. Forsyth National Wildlife Preserve. But that wasn't always the case. Back in the 1880s, Long Beach Island, or LBI as the locals call it, was longer than it is today. And right about where the Forsyth sandbar ends, local businessman Thomas Bond ran a hotel called Long Beach House for duck hunters and hobby fishermen. He also led a volunteer rescue squad to help ships that wrecked on the many shoals offshore. Eventually, the U.S. government formed the Life Saving Service and established six stations on LBI, including one next to Long Beach House. When Bond retired as an innkeeper, he started a second career as master of Station 22, with a crew of six surfmen who maintained the station during winter months. Well, that's all very interesting, of course, but I did promise you buried pirate treasure, so let's get on with that story. Early on in Bond's tenure with Station 22, around 1886, two men turned up in a boat asking to spend the night. The men claimed to be land surveyors and asked for directions to two cedar trees that were considered local landmarks at the time. The crew of Station 22 were suspicious of their visitors, so when the two men were gone the next morning, one of the surfmen climbed into the lookout tower and trained the spyglass on the cedar trees. Sure enough, the two surveyors were there, apparently digging. Several of the surfmen set off to intercept them, but by the time they arrived, the alleged surveyors were loading something large and heavy into their boat. They rowed away and were never seen again. All the surfmen found were two empty holes in an old cutlass, described by some sources as being rusted and others as having a golden hilt. According to island lore, the sword hung on the wall of John Havens, first superintendent of the life-saving service, for many years. Then it was either destroyed in a fire or found its way to the Long Beach Island Museum. However, if it ever was at the museum, it's not there any longer. But the museum is still well worth the trip, since it has a lot of artifacts from the early years of Long Beach Island. While the Life Saving Service's annual reports don't contain any mention of treasure hunters, that doesn't necessarily mean the Holgate treasure is just a big fish story. Two famous pirates, Captain William Kidd and Blackbeard, are both known to have been in the area at times when their ships were loaded with treasure that went unrecovered. One of Captain Kidd's apprentices, who escaped the noose at the same London trial that doomed Kidd, is thought to have settled not far from Anahawken, perhaps to search for the treasure his former master claimed to have hidden in various places along the East Coast. And Blackbeard dropped anchor in Barnegat Bay not long after his famous assault on Charleston. Legend has it that British troops chased him into the swamps where he escaped by submerging in the muck and breathing through a hollow reed. The stories don't say exactly where along the shore the pursuit took place, but it's worth noting that the first settlement on Long Beach Island was called the Great Swamp. Still, if the men who claimed to be surveyors retrieved Blackbeard's property, they were tempting fate. Although the pirate had been dead for more than 150 years when the men arrived at Station 22, he was believed to bury loyal crewmen along with his gold so that their ghosts could stand guard against robbers. That wraps up this webisode of the Walking with Dead People Jersey Shore series. If you'd like to learn more about Captain Kidd or Blackbeard, check out my blog at walkingwithdeadpeople.com. And keep an eye out for my upcoming ebook about the pirates of Long Beach Island and Barnegat Bay. <laughs>